Hello everyone, welcome back to Moonlighter. We found another one of these send home boxes, so that's nice. Uh, this time I think it's gonna be my last run through. I desperately want to build either a better, better sword or better bow. And we, I think we have enough wood for one of them, but we don't have, we, oh, we do have enough slime for one. So yeah, after we leave uh, this round, we are totally gonna just straight up build a better sword, enchant it, and die again. G good. We're gonna have to save a bit of money to be able to afford that, though, is the issue. But I think if we sell all of the other raw materials we're not using, we should be good. That's the hope, anyway. And we definitely need to give ourselves some more armor and health, too. But that's mostly just gonna come from running into the building, collecting stuff, and running back out again. Oh, crap, I thought I was going to move out of the way in time. Yeah, see, these are just instances of barely being able to damage the enemies fast enough. More fruit. Uh, what is this, destroy curse? God, no! I didn't want to destroy the destroy curse! Now I don't know what this item is! I blame communism. Cool. Already moving our way to the third level, where we can get ourselves killed once again. I would, it would be really funny if I failed this many times trying to get through this. He just dive bombs, right? Nice. Try me again. You gonna shoot me? Wow. You are the best. You are absolutely the reason why adventurers cannot make it through the experimental forest. Uh, yeah, botany jottings. Sweet. What's the biggest stack we have? Stack of... Uh, I'll wait until we get a bigger stack of something first. Because we're obviously we want to leave. Uh, this destroys curse. So let's put it on there. Oh boy, four pots. Yes, 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 we need those. I think we still need one more. Um, which could be bad, but... Uh, we'll find out. For the bow, I believe we need another one of these. Because we I think we have one so far. I don't like this room, but I have to deal with it. Just focus on using the iframes. Just like that. Okay. Oh, not hard. Just want bigger numbers, man. Just want the biggest numbers. Ooh. More fertilizer. My favorite. Yes, I would like a paper with poop on it. Poop that has little speckles of whatever it is that they can't digest in this dungeon. And I believe this is not the exit. No. Nope. Mm. This might be, though. Oh, no! It's the evil spew dog! Did I get hit with that? I don't think I did. He is one hyperactive little dude. I would like to see poison on the sword. That'd be cool. Lightning on the sword is going to be fun, too. A big stun. Although, admittedly, if I had a chance to redo it, I'd probably put element on the bow instead of just raw damage and put raw damage on the sword. But then again, hitting people at close range, I want to stun them, and at long range, it doesn't really matter. I mean, stunning would be nice, but that's assuming lightning even does a stun. I totally timed that perfectly. You see, that was just the game designer. Jeez, they got a lot of health. Logs, I think. I think that's the logs I need. I can't check my bag in combat. Why does it do this every time? A big leaf. Magic wood is not what I need. It is not the magic missile. Ugh. Hey, at least I fixed my controller beforehand this time. That's nice. Come here. I'm gonna kick your butt. That guy can't get me. I am clearly touching him and it's not hurting me. That's fine. I thought that was gonna kill him. My fault. How did that hit me? What kind of stupid angle was that? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I am this close to... No! 
I'm gonna beat this level this time. Am I even on the third floor? All right, this destroys curse. Uh, let's see, another stack of four. We do want to transform that one stack. Eh, yeah, might as well. Oh, good. Cave fruits. I'm really glad I used it on that. Oh, cool! We got another radish. Kick ass. No one automatically gets sent home. Um, I'm just gonna put that there and duplicate those into the books to make money. And then another stack of four on top of that. That's not useful. And what else is cheap? Uh, probably the... Yeah, okay. Sell the rest and just head home so we can make some money. And hopefully... Hopefully... Make some cool weapons. 1600. Eh, that's not that bad. Is it daytime now? I think it's daytime, but I messed up so many times back and forth that... No, it's not. That's fine, though. We'll just sleep. I don't think we have enough money to upgrade a sword yet, so there's that. A stack of four buttony juttings, which I think... Yep, at 2,000 is perfect. Good. I think we're going to have enough. At least to make a weapon, if not maybe an armor piece or two. Hmm... <laughs> So we have this bow. We do not have this, but we have everything we need to make it, just not enough money. And I believe the same thing with the sword. We have that sword. Ah, we didn't get enough logs. That takes three logs. I don't guess we're making the bow then. I don't know if we enchanted it. At least the next time that we run in with the bow, we'll probably be able to get a log pretty quick. But we won't have enough money to make both either, or anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All things considered. Um, gotta clear this thing out down here. That dumb windows noise you keep getting. My controller's battery running low. Maybe I should stop being dumb about that. And then these, what, 44? And the other ones are 60-something? So we'll probably make one of these. Yeah, because we need... Four leaves, so we can make exactly one. Jeez. Why are we getting so many more roots than leaves? Leaves must be a drop from an enemy, and we're just not paying attention. We'll focus on the enemies that drop those. I think... Yeah, let's check. I have not looked at this to see if that's actually the case. So this is forest, and we can go down, we can see... Old Bulb. Oh, they all have lore. I'm glad I've been paying attention. Petrified wood from years of sitting in and near particular elements. Uh, yep, that doesn't help me. Very old boat? Nope, that doesn't tell me at all how to achieve getting these things. A rather large bulb, once belonging to a new, now dead plant. It isn't alive, but it isn't really dead either. Oh, you can't scroll those. You have to just wait for it to scroll itself. All right. Time to go into the morrow. I'm going to drop off the materials I need for crafting, and we're just going to sell everything else. I believe these are the magic transport chests. Yeah, so this one should be empty. Oh no, there's a little fruit. Look at that cutie little fruity. And let's see. So throw over that stuff. I mean, I'm not planning on making a bigger training sword, or a better sword and shield. I think we're going to stick with the stuff that we have now. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and sell that. Sell you. Venom jelly. We do want that for potions. Seeds. Flesh. Keep you. And then keep the son of a... Wow! Maybe one day, he says, and it never happens! You and 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 you. We want to keep these. And I believe there's some crafting materials we have over here. Yep, the one radish we need. The roots and the log. We'll move those over here. Log stacks, root stack. Jelly is not the thing I need. Good job, me. Fruities, sulfur. And then we'll just go over here and we'll see if there's anything that we can add to the stacks. Cool. Can we max out our stacks? 
Kick ass. Um, yeah, I'll just grab these leaves. Why are the roots here? What are they part of? Maybe, um, yeah, we probably have something bookmarked that we shouldn't. And we'll find out in a sec. Anyway, time to go to bed and sell a bunch of things and maybe make some money finally. How long has it been? Like three episodes? I'm just avoiding the fun part of the game. Buy my things. Do it very quickly. Uh, I need to check these books. I don't know if I set them properly. Okay, they didn't like 3,000 on that, and they did like 2,000 on that. Well, I think Jotting's 2 should be more than 2,000. Uh, they might not like it at that. Uh, that's probably safe, yeah? Yeah, that's a good deal. Uh, buy my books. I've got plenty for sale. Many books. Sword and shield, how much are you worth? I don't know. Although the training bow... Uh, didn't we sell some training stuff? I thought we sold the training spear. Training spear. 50 was way too cheap. And that's the only reference we have. So, the 100 it is. Oh, there's another spot open. Pots. No idea. You can have it. Just steal my things and leave me money. Thank you. Damn it. Of course, Big Burly Swordman finds 100 gold for a sword to be woefully cheap. Surprisingly cheap? Extra special cheap. I don't know what anything is worth, and I'm selling them as stacks. Why would you wait in line for the old man? He picked up his stuff after you did. Um, we still don't have enough money to make anything. Oh, maybe some armor. I think those are 44. Book is for good. Uh, book also wasn't in stack because I'm dumb. Fruities! A bowl of fruits. That's definitely worth 500 gold. Damn it! I'm underselling my stuff. Uh oh, that man is burglarger. Burglarger. <laughs> Thanks, mouth. You've never let me down before. Just get angry at my outrageous prices. Really? You're gonna steal something while I'm literally sitting inside your body? That's fine. Do it. God damn it. Re no! You guys can wait. I'm getting a really expensive book back. Don't you dare leave without fucking paying. I am the most popular salesman in town because I don't care about my family's lineage and I'm literally just throwing things at people on the street, hoping that they appreciate me. Uh, did we just sell those? I thought we just sold those for... No, we haven't sold them yet. They're still sitting on the bottom. Is that right? Yeah, they're still sitting down there for 2500 or whatever. Stop. You're doing it wrong. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. That... Don't know what it's worth. Yeah, just, just pick up two of them and shove them somewhere. <laughs> That's exactly how we solve our problems. Is that the same kind of book? Yep. And he still writes it at 2,000 because we haven't sold it yet. I don't know. Botany Jottings 3. Well, that's cool. It's not just that they're covered in stuff, it's that they get covered in progressively more. Uh, it's a leaf for one, it's like a grass or whatever for the third, and a flower for the fourth. It's pretty cool. This has to be worth three. Absolutely has to be worth three. Seeds, did we sell any? No, we did not. Flesh, we haven't sold any yet either. Just give me money. Five hundred seems to be Oh good! I undersold the fruits too. I'm glad. Hey, you better like the price of that book. Ha what? That's Botany Jottings 3. That's a special edition, super rare. How dare you not like the price of Botany Jottings 3? 
Uh, raise the price and make you buy it. Oh, you don't like that either? What was that? The, the seeds? Seeds are too expensive at 500 apiece? Alright. Uh, three's probably fine. Oh, no! What did, they, what did you just get angry at? The flesh? 500 too much for flesh? Yeah, probably. Because it's a completely super common material. Buy my things, please. Good. Good. Botany Jottings 2 at 2200 is fine. So 2500 is probably good for Botany Jottings 3. What? You gotta be kidding me. 200 still too expensive? Go get it yourself then, you cheapskates. Cheapsus. Shach. Give me tip. Thank you. Wow. Just wow. You people are... Why would you even look at flesh and be like, Okay, yeah, I want to buy that, but then don't buy it. A hundred is too... Too much, huh? Fine. Why don't I just give it away for free, huh? Why do you even bother? Why did you even come into the shop today? If you knew my prices were just... Just terrible. Just the worst. Did I sell a stack of these yet? I did not. Did I sell a stack of you? I did not. All right, then. Honestly, these are probably more expensive than the mushroom. We'll find out. Yeah, 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 I know. I overpriced the flesh by a little bit. They're actually only worth less than 100 for some reason. Hey, you bought the thing. Finally. What do you buy? Jotting's three. 2,500 is good for three. 2,500 is cool. The books definitely are where the money comes from. Why are there so many burglars in this town? It's the same burglar, too. He just keeps coming in. He's like, yeah, I just... I don't know. It didn't work the first time. But keep trying. Variables change, man. Life is just full of them you can't control. Like me being stupid. Uncontrollable. Absolutely. What a mad lad. Two? Three? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't check how much those are worth. And also, we put something down for free. Does that mean somebody can just walk out with it? Couldn't tell you. Yeah, a thousand. That's perfect. How does... How do you run a business? You see, what you do is you turn the price gun to random, and then you just start spinning in circles while holding the trigger down. You son of a bitch! You stole the flesh that I didn't want to sell. <laughs> Nobody wanted to buy. At least I lost... Basically nothing. Oh, cool. Fertilizer is actually more expensive than that. I don't know how much these are worth. I'm setting them right next to the other guy. And straw. What a waste. 400. Okay. Okay. I'm either completely overpricing or completely underpricing things. At least I have a basis for how much all this stuff is worth. And a reasonable amount of money now. You'd have to make the prices increase exponentially like that, given how just absolutely crazy the prices get with regards to buying things. Cool. We made more money than we had on our person. That's enough to build, I think, an armor and a weapon. And then we can finally answer the question if enchanting things is good or bad. Let's let's see. You are the one that I'm storing the crafting materials in, correct? So I can take you No! Dumb. I don't use any of these for crafting. So we'll put them back into this container. And what do we use for crafting? You and you. Well, I don't think the stick actually. And the jellies we want to take, because we're going to use them for potions. Jelly potion, potion, potion. The rest of the stuff I think we can sell. I believe. Golem King Energy Crystal, I think it's just something you sell. Maybe he stole it? I don't remember. It's probably used for enchanting later on, now that I think about it. A more enhanced enchantment. That I might have to farm a boss to get. Oh, yay. Watch it take three as well, and I sold one. 
I'm just the best. Yeah, I think the rest of these, you know, if they can fit. No. Cool. So this will be my box I put things in I want to save, and the other box is just stuff I'm going to sell. So let's grab a stack of things to sell. Keep it in the first container. I guess that's sort of a way of sorting. It auto stacks stuff. Did we sell any of you? We did not. Thank you, brain. Try again. Another day. Let's see. One, two. I think we've got two more slots open beyond that. Yep. And we'll just move these over. Big leaves are probably worth big money. Now make my bow really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This one, please. Sweet. 256,000. That's fine. That's not a problem. And we can make one of these, which I think they all basically do the same thing. Yeah, they're all plus 80s, so it doesn't matter. No, 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 no! That's plus 80, because it's off the enchanted one. That's plus 40. So let's make it and see... Oh, I don't have enough gold! Son of a... Thanks, game. Well, I, th I think that answers our question, though, because if it's enchanted, it just it naturally increases that tier. So we just didn't enchant the bow, and we haven't enchanted the boots yet. No, we did enchant the bow before, didn't we? I thought we did. Eh, it'll be worth it. It's the strongest weapon we have now. So we just dodge and shoot at range. Um, can we enchant it again? Uh, I guess we can. I guess you can just enchant weapons more than once. That explains why the bow is still available to enchant. Hold on. Now that the bow's enchanted, I want to go see if it went from 175 up to something else. Because if it did, then kick ass. Maybe the golden crystal is like an enchanting tree, where I could have maxed out the enchantment of something, of one of the weapons earlier, and just wasn't paying attention. No, it still only says 175. Hmm. Well, at least our bow does more damage now, and we've got plenty of... Yeah, we got 8,000. Let's just burn the rest of the gold on a shop upgrade. I think we can afford a single shop upgrade. Not that kind of shop upgrade. Nope, those are 20,000. And that's not really worth it. I wonder what that percentage off is of. Is it of after I figure out whatever it's worth market value for happiness? Anyway. Now that we have a tier 3 bow that does crazy damage. I think a single shot does more damage than the charge attack. Like a single hit from the charge attack for the sword. Let's find out. Oh, I found a sparkle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at all that damage. 200. Alright, what's down here? Please don't tell me it's... Oh, good. It's a treasure box that sends things back to my house. Oh, shit. I should have used the bottom treasure box, too. Look at that damage. Oh, this makes the game more fun. This is way more fun. Oh! Wait. I almost jumped right into it, too. Uh... Where are you, puddle? Well, I'm not in here. Probably not even gonna end up using that box unless I have to go buy it on the way back. What the fuck? It's a lava land in the next zone. Sweet! One shot kills. Oh, good, logs. I can upgrade my sword next if I get enough money. Wait, this isn't lava land, this is just... Okay, fine by me. Wait, did he not take damage? Or, oh, you're just, you're just gonna knock me off, huh? You do a lot of damage. I just have to... Yeah, that works. Actually, these guys are probably some of the better ones to fight at range. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's a crazy curve. Well, now we have some more... A few crafting materials we didn't start out with. This bow made a huge difference in that room. That would have been just monumentally insurmountable had I decided I didn't want to upgrade my bow. Okay. This nonsense. 
I'm like some sort of ninja. This is nice. I'm very happy with this. <laughs> I'm gonna one-shot you and use the iframes to dodge your stupid attack. Oh, jeez, I'm facing the wrong direction. Stop! St dodge! What are you do- He's still going! Could you not- Why am I hitting the wall? And that's not far enough away to curve. <laughs> I wonder if that would have damaged me if he was uh, still within range while he was flying towards me. So what do we still need? We need a bunch of leaves at this point. Uh, like two roots per, but it's like four leaves per. So we might as well just kill every enemy and chomp on the rest of whatever doesn't come out. This is the sparkle zone. Make sure that's the sparkle room. We don't need to kill you, but we're gonna do it anyway. Are we just not taking damage when we fire the bow? Is there like a slight iframe there I'm not aware of? These are the leaves we need. We've just been too stupid to fucking find them. Strong leaves. And we've got four more, so that's another piece of armor. And after that, it's just money. So we got two pieces of armor at this point. Uh, I think we only need two more to get the third piece. How many of you does this go through? One. Ah, oh, yes, of course. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. I am damaging myself more than I really ought to be. Why did you curve down? Why are you doing this? Can I control where it goes? There's more leaves. Everything is working according to plan. Ooh, a puddle. We got up and left, and I'm gonna guess left is the correct direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that secret. Ah! Through the walls. Then we're gonna drop this stuff off and it's gonna get sent home. We don't have to worry about dying. What's down here? Oh, is this gonna summon super angry man McAngry Death? It is. It's gonna summon angry man McAngry Death. Just don't get hit and you're fine. Super simple stuff. I'm gonna go drop these things off anyway. I mean, I might as well. We've, we're basically at no damage. We don't have any potions, sure, but... Just transfer everything. Whoop. Back home all that goes and we're safe. I kind of wish that they went for a little bit different music with this guy. Because as much as he is an incentive to stop decking around and continue playing the game, uh, he's not... Uh, he's going to be here fairly consistently, yeah? Like he doesn't just... Di oh, Jesus! I forgot that there were these... 100% forgot. And he does a big jump. Cool, potions. A spear? Like a next level spear? Full of its bright colors seem pleasant enough to place. Do not let yourself become complacent. These bushes and trees would be the walls. Oh boy! Oh, he just never showed up, huh? Hi. Goodbye. Oh, that was hard. Absolutely the toughest final room of the first floor. 100% insurmountable. Oh, it did! It did! Auto-equip our, uh, potions. Cool. And it's just a regular training spear, but at least we can sell it. Maybe make some money off of it this time. I, I think there's one thing that I'm having a bit of a problem with. Until the movement of the enemy start happenings, starts as happenings... I'm having a bit of an issue with actually keeping track of where enemies are upon immediately entering the room, especially with this color palette here. It's just a little... a little funktastic to me. If I get hit one more time, I'm taking my potions. Uh, that is destroy, that is destroy, and that is destroy, so you all go on the edge. Ha! Oh, this room is just perfect for me. You're dead. Look at this little touch you and your dead boys. Not even trying. I'm trying, they're not. Shut, shut, you spin too fast. All right, I'm drinking a potion. You curved too hard there, Mr. Arrow. Also, was this a sparkle or am I gonna take damage? 
Cool. Trash cans! My favorite. Trash cans is just free stuff. As it turns out, this level is actually just, uh... The experimental compost bin. The entire dungeon is... Would you go through the door, please? Please and thank you. Can't hit me through the wall! Which is way more enjoyable. Take a lot less damage. Just fun. Many leaves. Well, this doesn't appear to be the direction I'm supposed to travel in! Would you not? Oh, I'm switched weapons. I'm switched weapons again, and I'm falling. <laughs> what is this? I'm glad I had those potions, or I probably would have died there. Or at least come close. What the hell? Oh, good, my controller disconnected again. Is this just gonna be the future running gag? It is, isn't it? This is this is gonna be what my channel is founded on. His controller keeps dying. It's not him. It's not his fault. That door wasn't even closed. I didn't even need to kill any of them. And the day was one. Right, what's up? Ooh, a book I believe I've already read. Yep. Cool, dungeon pendants. Now the heroes of the dungeon. I wonder if these pendants are incredibly rare. That's the reason why we are the one who's allowed to be the Moonlighter. Damn it! He figured out the ploy. Huh? Still sucks to be him. Yeah, I straight up just had iframes right there for some reason. Where's the puddle? Uh, you're gonna destroy stuff, and I have to move you in that way. You're also destroying things. We are now full! Do I need to go through this room? Probably. I did not, but there's a treasure box, and that's always nice. <laughs> Still got hit. Probably shouldn't have. But at least we got a gold treasure box. Ooh! Transform? No, that's destroy. T is destroy. That one's transformed. Into a puddle? Why would I care? That seems dumb. Radish is destroy. Uh, secret special. Four stack. Four stack's probably better than one stack. God, I wish there was a faster way to go back and forth like that. Why does it have to send it back to the box? It doesn't make sense. Uh, did we sell these before? 200 was cheap, and then I think the seeds were like 500 was too expensive. But we got seven of these that sell for more than 200, so that's definitely worth. Are we only on the second floor? Did we sell pots? Yeah, 300 was cheap. Definitely want to keep those. Sell the seeds. Get rid of them. Nobody cares. 99. I wonder if there's a way to figure out what they're worth by selling them first and then running it through a calculation. Like, if it's a consistent multiplier, or, like, a divider, that determines how much they're worth. Uh, one plant flesh we can probably get rid of. And this one destroys a curse. So I'm gonna trade you with you. And put you on the pot to see what those are. Ooh, books! Definitely glad I did that. Pots are worth a bit, and I believe the and the powder's worth a bit, too. Shit. Shitato! Shitototokoto. These are worth basically nasi bluffing. Just get rid of them. And I think these ones... I mean, I only sold it for 50, but I don't know if they're really worth that much. I think everything here is worth more than that. Cool. We're not going to run into another thing, and we need money more than we need materials. And we have enough materials for quite a few things at this point, so... Let's just go back and sell stuff in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully. Maybe. See you.